Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ithya Kimari. If this is your first time here, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so you always know every single time I upload a video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well if you like this and let's just get straight right into today's video. So as you guys can already tell, I'm going to be showing you guys everything I got from Sephora. Everything I got from Sephora fits into this tiny little small Sephora bag. So let's just get started. So the first item I got from Sephora was this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray in the XL, the jumbo size. This was $50. You so this is this is what I got you guys. This is the big size and it is 240 ml. This one is the smaller size, the standard size, and it's 118 ml. This one actually sells for $48 and this one sold for $50. So I was like, why not get, you know, double the product for just $2 more? I think this one is actually only available online as well. The next thing I got is the Laura Mercier Foundation Hydrating Primer. And I believe this was $48. Next, I picked up two new beauty blenders. I picked up one black one and one nude one. I've always used this black beauty blender. If you guys watch my videos, you see that I always use this black beauty blender and I absolutely love it. I've had mine for almost two years now, so it was time for me to pick up a new one. And I decided to pick up the nude one as well because it's more similar to the black one in texture. I also have the pink one, but I don't know, I don't really like the pink one. I feel like it absorbs too much of your product as opposed to like spreading it around your face. So I decided to go with the nude one instead. And I believe these were $26 each. The next thing I got is a new foundation. I got this Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Foundation. Um, I used that on my face today and I also used it in my last video. I really 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 love this foundation you guys the coverage is amazing it says this hydrating foundation was created in our LA photo studio to look and feel amazing throughout an entire 15 hour shoot it's medium to full buildable coverage it's oil free it controls sweat and humidity it's color true and transfer resistance and it's a demi matte finish and I believe this foundation actually does basically everything it says that it does because I have been using this for the past two weeks now and I absolutely love this foundation. And my shade was 4.3. Here's an interesting story about this foundation. So I went to Sephora and I wanted to get shade matched. And the person that like the person that attended to me gave me like a totally different shade. So I went into the app and then I found this like shade finder thing. So what it basically does is it compares your current shade to all the foundations they have in their stores and it tells you the exact shade to pick. So I did that and then it ended up recommending 4.3 for me and when I tried that you guys it was an amazing match. So if you're ever confused about what shade to pick up in a particular foundation you can always go through the app and that way you have an idea of what shade you should be picking up and this foundation was $46 the next item I picked up is this cover FX power play concealer and I believe I got this in N deep 3 I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like on my hand I'm just going to swatch it and show you guys what it looks like the concealer comes in this tiny little bottle tube thing and that is what the applicator looks like right there and this is what it looks like compared to my hand or compared to my skin. So I basically use this concealer right underneath my eyes today. And you guys, this concealer is full coverage. Like, absolutely full coverage. I have been using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for such a long time now. And when I tried this, I was just like... Yeah, like this concealer right now is my new favorite. Like, see underneath my eyes. You do not see any dark circles. You don't see nothing like nothing at all and I only used one layer underneath my eyes so I really really like this concealer it says it's a high performance high coverage concealer that covers dark under eye circles redness and imperfections with long lasting wear and I think this like this is 
completely true because this formula is amazing and i got this for 36 dollars the next thing i got is this sephora golden hour illuminator it's just a liquid highlighter and it looks just like that so i'm not sure if it's like really coming off on camera but that is what it looks like right there it basically just adds like a layer of highlight you can use it as like actual highlighter or you can use it underneath your foundation as well if you want more of a glowing skin i think that's what i'm going to do and this was 18 dollars the next item i got from sephora is just this it's a sephora high precision eyeliner and it has a very thin brush that is what the brush looks like right there if you struggle like me <laughs> with doing your eyeliner i think this would really be good because it's easily controllable so and this was 16 dollars. the next item i got is this basically it's the sephora it's the sephora collection ultra shine lip gel lip gloss thingy and this i got in shade 35 earth and fire you guys this is my favorite lip gloss I have it on right now this is my favorite lip gloss i remember going into sephora like a few like maybe like two months ago or something and i was told that this was discontinued so i was heartbroken like i was so sad but then i checked online and i found these and they retail for 18 dollars. but i guess maybe because they're trying to like get rid of them they were on sale for nine dollars each so i just got two of those you guys i yeah, I absolutely love this lip gloss. It gives me the perfect pink. It gives me the perfect pink or nude color without doing too much and without looking ashy. So yeah, I got these for $9 each. The next thing I got is also a lip product. I got this Makeup Forever Panted Lip Book. It's so cute, you guys. This will make a perfect Christmas present for somebody. And this is what it looks like. It just says... It just says enchanted lip book and it's it is so cute you guys so it comes with four of their matte liquid lipsticks and and they all the I got these four I got these four for $32 so basically it's like eight dollars for one which is basically drugstore price so there is this one I'm just going to swatch it on my hand and this is what it looks like it's just a nice purple right there there's also this one which is like a pink nude or a nude pink and that is what it looks like there is this one which is like a more of an icy pink i feel like this one will be too well it's not bad actually so it's like a purple right there it's like a purple it's like a gray purple oh this is so nice and then lastly there's also a dark one as well and i got the enchanted lip book for 35 dollars actually so it comes to about eight dollars eight dollars twenty five for each of the lipsticks and i thought that was pretty smart i thought that was a good buy the next item i got and the last item i got is the huda beauty ruby obsession eyeshadow palette very nice colors so i saw this online and i was like you guys this is so perfect like freaking nine eyeshadow shades for 35 dollars huda beauty but like i was so excited i did not expect this tiny change like i did not expect it to be so tiny and so small and so chinkily and so pocket sized like this was not what i expected all these shades are really really nice shades um i like i can't even be mad i just wish i knew how small it was when i was buying it i probably won't have bought it but i'm just going to swatch some of it and show you guys exactly what it looks like so i'm going to take this one right here it's on the so that is what that one so that is what that one looks like it looks like it would be really nice on your eyelid oh this one is so pretty you guys what the one the next one i sh swatched was this one that was right here in the middle this one is so this one is so pretty it's like it's like a purple pink orange i don't even know it has like three dimensions to the color the camera is definitely not doing it justice but that one is so pretty let's watch this one right here yeah that one looks nice as well it's like an orange it's like an orange red and i'll swatch this one. Ooh, you guys that one is so pretty too do you see it like right there it's like a hot pink it's like a nice hot pink i can't even be mad you guys like i can't like do you see this color payoff right here 
I can't be mad. I, I'm not mad anymore. <laughs> I'm honestly not mad anymore. I'm actually quite glad I bought this. Like, I really, really like the colors. Even though I'm not crazy on eyeshadow, but I feel like these colors are definitely things I would wear. And they seem very easy to use and color payoff is amazing. So that is the end of my video guys. That is everything I got from Sephora. Leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite item was or what item it is that you would probably buy as well. As usual guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this. And see you guys in my next video. Hey, do you ever get to class? Look, all we ever see is raps. Hey, do you have a plan B? Look, cause music ain't always the way. If you know how I'm raised, my plan B is like a plan A. Hey. But for real, I want this music shit Offices ain't cool and shit I just got too much to say If not this, then it's politics And I ain't with the politics I just can't do